Recently, my friend Jorker made a Plants vs. Zombies mod that reworks every plant in the game. Having fond memories of playing Plants vs. Zombies on my iPad as a wee child, I decided to try this out. Unfortunately, I did not know just how much he changed the game from what we all know and love. Here are some of the best moments from my first stream of this mod. I hope you enjoy. And yeah, so this is quick rundown, obviously, in case you don't know, this is Jorker's Plants vs. Zombies mod, and I figured, you know, I spent eight hours making a trailer for it, why not play it? <laughs> Curious to see how things are going to go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We start with the 175 sun. As far as I'm aware, every single plant ever is with or within this game is reworked. So we're going to have a lot of learning to do. One thing that I love that Drunker did, and I noticed it while doing the trailer, is sunflower is 25 sun. Produces sun at a slightly slower rate. However, it's only 25 sun, and I love that. Because it's like Plants vs. Zombies 2, where they made 1 sun 50, and it just balances out the economy so well. It's gonna be a lot of experimenting, gonna be a lot of uh, figuring things out. I'm honestly most intrigued about the challenge. Ooh, 250 for the cherry bomb. The adjusted sun prices are interesting. Already having 125 for a pea shooter is surprising. Then it's in a 3x3 area with a quick recharge. I know plants do get more expensive, and that is, like, the thing that intrigues me the most, because it does make me wonder whether I'm going to want two or three rows of sunflowers. Okay, recharge is about typical cherry bomb recharge. Fifteen- whoa, whoa, fifteen sun for a walnut. Low HP wall with a fast recharge. Okay. Interesting. That's less than a- because I was saying Sunflower could be a good wall plant, because it's cheap, but this is cheap, so <laughs> the sun economy's all whack, man. Two for now. Let's watch how fast the walnut goes. Okay, that's pretty manageable. I'm liking the dynamic so far. It feels a lot more engaging. Plants vs. Mids remitted. God, something's wrong with this guy. Holy. Dude, I could I could really use these though. That would uh, uh, I mean. Oh right, walnut bowl. Here, take this walnut. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Oh wait, I gotta turn that shit up. Yeah! I forgot we're on the uh since it's so calm in the normal ones, I forgot we're on fucking yeah, reads and sees music. I love walnut bowling. Oh, it just adds to the whimsy. I don't know what's going. I don't know. I don't really know if anything's going to be changed about it. Is that persona? It was persona. Yeah. I was having a really hard time deciding between this and graze the roof for the trailer music, but I I landed on graze the roof. I think I would have done Loon Boon if I was going for a more whimsical vibe for it. <laughs> I just realized, we haven't even seen a bucket head in the game yet, and we already got one in here. I don't know if that was intentional- What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. okay, hang on, so one up bolting- Bolting? Bowling is different. I don't like that. That's spooky. Okay. Um. I'll, I'm gonna let my walnuts stack up for a bit. You know. Let's see. Let's see. Can I hit all of them? Yes. Okay. We're fine. Actually, I can just use you as a ricochet for now. Never mind. You didn't ricochet into anything. You're useless. God. It goes so hard. Where can I get this mod? Um, what you gonna call it? Just search up Jorker on YouTube, and you should be able to find his uh trailer, and that has the download in it. I don't even know if it requires the Steam version to play. Detonates in a one by one area for moderate damage. Takes a while to arm, but it's 75 sun now. So interesting. Now, one thing I've noticed, right, that seems to just be a common thing in Plants vs. Zombies culture, because I have delved a bit into the Plants vs. Zombies scene, is people like to play their sunflowers up here, and their, like, normal plants back here, which is something I never really thought too much about, 
but it does make sense. They would like set up all their sunflowers up here and then set up all their wall plants here and then they would reserve the very back for uh, what you want to call it? All of their like actual normal shooty plants, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, so this is how I've noticed a lot of Plants vs. Zombies players will do things. They'll have their wall up front with all defensive plants, and they'll have these. I think Snow Pea's pretty good, if I recall correctly. Or maybe Snow Pea's just the same. I don't know. Slowly shoots Chilling Peas. Okay, so maybe it shoots a bit slower. Wow! So, basically, Snow Pea, again, I'm gonna delve very lightly into my limited knowledge on Plants vs. Zombie community terminology, but Snow Pea's a stalling plant, as far as I'm aware. Snow Pea is existing to stall, not deal damage. Fuck. I think I put too much faith in Snow Pea as a damage dealer. It does nothing for me. Like, I basically have a pea shooter and a quarter right here. However, a Snow Pea walnut can stall a zombie for a very long time. So note to self, Snow Pea is not a starting plan. You do not start your defensive lineup with Snow Pea. Why the fuck are your sunflowers in the front? Apparently it's PvZ meta. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I guess it makes sense because if the zombies get this far in your defense, it's better to have... What you want to call it? If they get this far in your defense and these are your offensive plants, then they eat them and now you don't have any offensive plants. But they get that far and they get to your sunflowers, well, you still got your offense, they'll die, you know? You you can place more sunflowers. Ooh, Chomper though. Quickly bite zombies for large damage. I'm intrigued by Chomper. That's an expensive ass Chomper. Yeah, it is. Um, if I were to choose my lineup here. Now, now we're gonna have to start thinking. Snow Pea's cool. Ah, get it going into there. Chopper looks too smug, that's true. Obviously we have to try out Chomp. I'm either not gonna take Cherry Bomb or Potato Mine. I think we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go do that. Yeah, I, I think I think that's our, I think that's the, that, that's the schmoo. What's next? Repeater, oh, right, right. I forgot, Repeater is an interesting one, right? Is it low damage? How do you work? Fires? Really? I thought Repeater shot fast. Maybe I'm going insane. Hmm. Oh, we didn't even get to use Chomper yesterday. I didn't even think about that. All right, let's try and set up some Choppers today. Let's try like a repeater Chomper setup, okay? I wonder if Plants vs. Zombies devs like played the game during playtesting with the column st strategy or it's like you see it in the trailer or not in the trailer, in like the intro card where it's all like disorganized and shit. The sun cost matters a lot more, I feel like, you know? Like, repeaters are bad at a good sun cost. Like, they make up for their sun cost. They feel weak, but for a 50 sun plan, they are not weak. Especially when pea shooter is 125. Let's see how Chomper goes. Let's see if Chomper's new meta. Oh, you mean crashes. Okay, okay. Okay, that kind of shredded. Chomper's definitely good. It's hard to tell the exact amount of damage it's doing because I just don't have a direct, like, indicator, especially with the P's hitting. Alright, you know what? Fine, fine, fine. You know what? Fuck you. Nice. Yeah, Cherry Bomb, basically what I've gotten is more expensive, but it recharges faster. Anyway, conveyor belt level time. I'm about to launch an all-out attack on your house. Oh, thanks, man. We don't have sunflowers, so I'm gonna put my defenses a bit further back right now. We'll do that there and then try to get a more immediate solution down here. Okay, well, that, that, I guess that's a pretty immediate solution. I, I think one of the biggest things about Repeater being nerfed, right? Or, well, reworked, I suppose. Conveyor belt levels are gonna play out a lot differently, basically. Because now it's like the whole sun cost is gone. But the conveyor belt's still there so you get them for free. So now things like repeater, which normally you see that on the conveyor and you're like, okay. Are gonna be like, oh darn. Oh shit, we haven't even gotten to the huge wave yet. I thought we fucking had it. Okay, I'm gonna try and get as much slowdown between my lanes as possible. Okay. I don't like what's happening in this lane. What the fuck? Uh, uh, uh. 
We may have ignored the bottom lane a bit. A little bit of child neglect. Guys, I don't, I don't like the looks of this, guys. That is an impossible lineup to deal with at this stage of the game without, like, a cherry bomb, I swear to God. Hang on. I can't use any lawnmowers. Give me a cherry bomb. Give me a cherry bomb. That's a repeater. Fuck. That would be so sad. You guys got this. You guys, no, you guys got this. I believe in you. No, you guys, you guys, I believe in you guys. That chopper was just demolished. He was just fucking gone. Okay. Okay, we, we delay with what we got. We delay with what we got. We can do this. We can do this. Go. Go, Pea Shooter. Go, Pea Shooter. You can do it. Go, Pea Shooter. Go! They got it. Ooh. That immediately caught my eye. There was no hesitation there. 25. Shoot sport at the enemy within a limited range. Wait. But how's that work? Good evening, John Eclipse. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. Every fourth level in a world is called a checkpoint level. Those suckers are bananas. What? <laughs> Hi, guys. You, you're reading something interesting there? You got a, got a good paper there going for you? Oh, right. This is a, this is a song I actually haven't heard because Moon Grains is from a uh, different album. I'm placing my sunflowers in the back for now. Okay, Puffshroom, how do you work? Explain explain your inner workings to me. Oh, right, right. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot. I, I did make the trail. I do know how these guys work. So, yeah, these guys just ignore shit. They just walk past. They do not care. I break their newspaper. They are coming from my house. It is over. However, they will eat things with the newspaper. So, I can stall them until I feel like I have a decent enough defense for them. What do you think they're reading about? Mm, probably the economy. You know, with the new sun economy changes, things have really been going downhill. After they raised the price of pro the price of pu the price of puff shrooms. I say that three times. After they raised the price of puff shrooms, things really went downhill. Probably. I don't think they would care about that. I don't know, man. Maybe they care about the brain economy. Oh, what's going on in the brain economy? Produce this sun quickly. We'll grow and produce more sun when given a while. Okay. Pretty so it's a fast sun producer. They lost their brains. They don't have brains. Oh shit, that's a slow ass recharge. Oh, oh, I might have just made a grave error. Okay, that is fast sun. I don't know if this was a drastic mistake or not. Well, guess we'll see. Okay, but sun sunshrooms rework is definitely an interesting one. I don't know if just sunshrooms a maintainable strategy though. Newspaper zombies are very weak though, so they are maintainable. Okay, it's kind of a fun little strategy though right now, trying to like, it's a fun little game having to stall them and not at the same time. Oh, there's just one in every fucking lane. There's just one in every lane. Oh wait, it's just over, isn't it? Things are looking a bit rocky at the minute. Okay. Um, distract. Okay, hang on. I gotta, I gotta start strategizing a bit more. I'm not paying enough attention. Please. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, 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 hang on. We're, we're managing, we're managing. These sunshrooms are not doing anything to grow, man. I don't know if they're worth it for the price. Okay, grab that. I clicked on that really fast, but sh shut up, shut up. Last time we just fused in a three by one area. Okay. I'm buying extra seeds. Well, yeah, that'll be cool. So I'm actually gonna do both of these right now. I think that's how we're going to set up. So with normal zombies, I think my goal right now is to just get a row of few trees. And then followed by a row of walnuts and chompers. And then these guys will be good for some production. And then, yeah. I'm going to light up my world, make my plants feel happy, make them feel important. Okay, Grave Crusher is kind of nice, but I don't really need it. We'll see how it goes. It's a grave, but it takes a while. I think the rework here is that it costs less, but it takes more time. So it's basically, I can't place it down right as a zombie comes out, but it's not as big of a detriment on the sun. I don't know how worth it Sunshroom is. Cause Sunshroom, I don't even think Sunshroom grew up that last level. Let's put a Cherry Bomb on there and just see what happens. Holy shit, that takes a while. Noting that down. Another day in the life of a YouTuber, you know, murdered for conspiracy against the government. I still can't get over the music here. It's really good. Is this meant to be, didn't it say like every fourth level was like nuts or something? 
Okay, hi, future me here. Uh, that guy right there, he's an idiot. Don't listen to him. So a checkpoint level, basically, since I did a terrible job explaining, is on the fourth level of every single world, with the exception of world one, there is a super hard level that has anywhere between three and four flags to it. They get progressively worse as the world to go on, which you'll see. And yeah, that's basically what they are. I didn't really understand what they were at the time. Is this meant to be? Oh yeah, because I can see the there's uh, three flags this level. Maybe Sun Shroom is good with Sunflower, because I feel like I've been struggling so much more on Sun right now. God, yeah, no, Sun Struggle has been real right now. Dude, we are fighting right now. We are fighting right now. Where did you- No, 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 please. Please hang on, 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 hang on. We are actually just fighting for our lives right now. Fuck off. It, it might just be, like, over. Hang on. Give me one more sun. One more sun. <laughs> okay, so let, let's try our little sun shroom friend. Let's try putting him back into the fray. Might have made a mistake with this, but we'll see. Okay, uh, I need to figure out how to resolve this situation and fast. Let's do that first. Okay, that's fine. I'm sure we can deal with the newspaper. What is happening? Why did I just? I don't think I had something down there for you. Okay, that's fine. I can manage. I lied, apparently. What the fuck? I'm definitely doing better with the sunroom. It definitely makes the economy feel a bit better. We're on wave one. Only wave one. Shit is only going to get worse from here. But hopefully now we can start stacking more and more food shrooms. Now that we've got our wall established, we can honestly just sit back and relax. Like, I can't really see too much else going on here that'll greatly impact the fume shroom economy. Fume shroom might be honestly one of the best plants for crowd control in the game. That doesn't get the grape fast enough. No. You got this. You can do it. No. No. This grave, why? She was so young. Oh yeah, I guess I can mention while I'm here. What, we got... Fuck man. Less than two weeks, uh, I move into college. I figured I'd mention um, Which means, most important of all, we get a new background change. Uh, let's see. How about the first pack? checkpoint level? I hate to be the guy to break it to you, but these zombies aren't letting up. Or play a game called Whack a Zombie! Oh, watch, watch my fucking mouse movement. Watch how insane my mouse movement is. Watch this shit. You have any idea how much Ultra Kill with Katana Zero I've been playing? I gotta get a fucking speed in this shit. Too easy, honestly. I think this was... Like, what should I call it? Considered difficult because people did not have. I think like it basically trackpad gaming was like the norm back then. <laughs> okay, okay, that was a wee a wee bit nerve wracking, a tiny bit nerve wracking. All right, chat. Makes the zombie fight for you with faster recharge. With a faster recharge, eh? So I think. Price has been increased, recharge has been decreased. Which is kind of nice, because I feel like that was one of the big issues with Hypno Shirt in the first game. I think Chomper is good, and I think we'll end up using him again later, but Fume Shroom is more crowd control, which I feel like the night levels have been more centered on. Yeah, see? Perfect. That was actually amazing Hypno Shroom play. What? That is honestly the best possible outcome I could have asked for. This is actually a real- This start feels like too good to be true, and I don't like it. It's making me uneasy. Granted, it might be because we're using Pea Shooter now, but let's hope that my my strategic genius has led me to success, and not just pure coincidence and RNG. Just going to bed at a reasonable time, man. This is such a foreign concept for me. I think the ideal sleep schedule that I want to aim for by the time I head back to college is either 12 or 1 a.m. to either 8 or 9 a.m., if that makes sense. School is sadly around the corner. Yup. I'm excited, though, because I'm going to a new school, so I'm, I'm very excited to, you know, go there, make friends, have a nice little room. God, having my own room is going to be so nice. I'm excited for school to start back up. I personally cannot wait. I know that means I'm gonna have to like learn and stuff, but I'm willing to take that sacrifice. If anything, it's college, so I'm learning about what I like. With the exception, I think like one or two gen eds, which I'm fine with gen eds. Um, I'm learning all about things I want to do, like script writing, post production. It's gonna be great. Okay, so this is pretty similar to last night. We have screen doors now and bucket heads. I don't know whether I want to take hypno shroom or potato mine. Scaredy shroom will take in because he's new. What do I want to do here? A gravedigger could let me strategize more. I need an insta. I think I'm gonna take Cherry Bomb. 
I think I'm gonna rely on Cherry Bomb this time around. Oh, fuck. Those... Ah, but those graves... Are fucked. Hang on. Those graves are dangerous to leave unattended. What if I play it a bit more ballsy, right? Something like this, right? This is, now this is really ballsy. And we only use Sunshroom. We'll stall with these, and then I think I'm actually gonna put Pushroom there. This is ballsy, but we'll try it. So, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, whoa, Scaredy Shroom's fucking going off, hello? Okay, hang on. That's insane fire rate. Hi. That's like faster than Pea Shooter, honestly. Okay, anyway, uh, this is really ballsy, though. Going for only Sunshrooms right now is a very dangerous thing to do. Its recharge is just so brutal that it's hard to stack up early game. But I think I can work with it if I do it right. Go back to 7th grade. Oh, 7th grade, wow. That is a... Huh? Wait. What? Back up about... 18 pegs. Did Buckethead just completely tank Potato Mine? Like, almost entirely? What did I... Did I miss something? What just happened? Okay, then. That's scary. I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. Whoa! Scaredy Shrew has abysmally slow recharge. What the hell? So yeah. Sh Scaredy Shrew has a abysmally slow recharge time, but really good attack. Junker really played around with recharge times here, which is a very, very interesting gameplay-wise. I can't really get, like, a wall of scaredy shrooms, so I mean, I guess I might as well just start planning more of these. Okay, um, you have 320 monkeys? There you go. The monkey economy is going strong, all right? One day, someone will make me go bald. It's only a matter of time. No, 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 wait, 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 things are getting dangerous. Things are getting real dangerous. But I can't, I can't process what's going on. Wait, this is dangerous. This is bad. I actually cannot process what's going on because the sun is covering my screen. You have 31.8 thousand monkeys? Thank God, you guys are insane. I guess you also get drops, and you're an active chat member too, Brain, so you're always getting your drops. There's a burst of damage to all zombies on screen. Quick recharge. Ooh, a nice level to introduce it, though. I think this works. Sunflower, this. Burst of damage. Scaredy Shroom. Pea Shooter. Or maybe I go Scaredy Shroom. Fume Shroom? But then I don't have a weak damage dealer. What if I just go no defense? What if I go full offense? Uh, uh, eh. we, got, we got this. We're fine. We're fine. Ballsy plays all around. That's all I need. Look at them go. They're just- they're jamming out to the music. They love the music that much, guys. Oh yeah, it's literally called Burst Shroom. It's not even called Ice Shroom. That's kind of interesting. I've been wondering why I hadn't placed down another Scaredy Shroom. And then I remembered the absurd cooldown on Scaredy Shroom. Now I have a decent lineup in each thing here, right? We have a Scaredy Shroom here. Oh, look at- look how symmetrical it is. I love that. Look at how beautifully symmetrical that is. Oh, oh, here he is. Oh, here he is. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, let's do it again. Oh, it has a really fast cooldown. Okay, one more time. Kill him. Kill him all. Like, just like the trailer shot, man. Come on. You got this. I believe in you. Okay, this is actually prime burst shroom time, though. This is actually carrying me right now. Whoa. Hi, a normal person. <laughs> Hello, a normal person. I, I'm, I'm excited to have a normal interaction with you, you definitely normal person. It's like reading a name in Lobotomy Corp. It's like you read the name and it's just like, a small bird, and you're like, yeah! And then it's like, a big bird, and you're like, yeah! The Bershroom, Bershroom is really important right now. It is a good thing I decided to get another row of sun producers, god. I'm burning through sun like it is sun. The sun is burning, that is true. Oh my god, I, look, the timer is right for when you can get a new one. Boom. It's kind of cool. There's like three popsicle flavors I'll, I'll accept, right? There's cherry popsicles. Classic, can't go wrong with them, right? Uh, oh, sorry, there's four. Cherry, orange, that like red, white, and blue, and then what you want to call it. Okay, anyway, hang on. Before I continue. Doomshroom. Leaving a permanent crater. 
Ooh, ooh, okay. Here's what I want. I want you guys. So I've noticed that sun scaling is really weird. So I need early game defenders at low sun cost and then late game defenders at high cost. So Fume Shroom is a good category for that. And then I think I could go these two. The only issue is this doesn't give me a good early game defender, so I think I'm going to switch out that. Place you right there. I'm going to play Scary Shroom as far back as I can, because I don't really trust anything. Uh, the issue is, I don't know if a Puff Shroom solo is a newspaper zombie. Guess we're going to find out. Fuck! He just falls shy of doing it. I should be able to keep up with these guys now that I have Puff Shrooms. Literally, just once you get two of them, things become a lot nicer. One of them is barely enough to keep up. Come on, come on. First Shroom, go! Go, Burst Shroom! Go, Burst Shroom! Burst Shroom! What is wrong with you? You suck, God. Well, we know for a fact that a line of scaredy shrooms is already improbable, let alone two, so, you know, we're gonna be fine. I think this is the furthest our defenses need to go. By the time we get to the final wave where they all spawn from graves, we'll have enough burst shrooms that it's not that big of an issue. Yep, fucked. So yeah, that's just there now. That's just not going away, I don't think. Dude, he shoots so fast. Imagine having, imagine having a full lane of these guys, it would just be over. Imagine having a full lane of those guys. <laughs> Hang on. Chad, I got an idea. For, for, for a later time, but I got an idea. Too. Which, I don't think I regret doing. I think la being able to sit there at 1 something AM and say, wait, wait, that's actually a really, wait. That's an insane thing that Bershom can do. Hang on, I didn't even think about that. Bershom can actually be a stall as well. That's actually kind of insane, I didn't even think about that. I've been thinking about another game to add to like my lineup. Because right now all we really have is Neon White, Midbottomy, and Gungeon. <laughs> Fucking rolled by. Okay, now we're at a point where we're producing enough sun where I can just constantly burst through. I actually kind of love the rework sun shroom. It's a really fun, bad early game, insane late game trade-off. I'm sure you can make some kind of pun using God of Door though. That's a crazy last wave anyway. And now we just burst through, stall, and then easy win. Okay, um, we're already off to a horrendous start. What's happening? Hang on, the scaredy shroom gameplay though is kind of going insane. Honestly, all my doom shrooms from here. The double scaredy shroom though is going to make this lane just get decimated at any possible turn. Will we play FNAF VR too? Yes, and I will be streaming it in VR if I can. Might take some annoying setup, but I will. We will be playing VR too. I'm very excited. Get the lineup! Get the lineup! Get them, boys! Dude, double fume shroom? It's just over. Eat him. Eat him. Yeah! Yeah! There we go. Triple Scaredy Shroom! And all Scaredy Shrooms from here on out are getting dedicated to this lane. I want to see the power they hold. I want to see what the unmatched potential of infinite Scaredy Shrooms can do to someone. I am still so excited for the uh, roof. I'm so excited to hear graze the roof normally. Scaredy Shroom like, look at him. This screen door does not stand a chance. He is done. What we do? Oh yeah. Brains, I don't know if you could tell from my shift in attitude, but I've had like I've had like a second win. I'm no longer tired. I was thinking about ending stream because I felt like I was about to pass out. That is no longer the case. What we do? Fog? If we have time. It has taken us almost three hours to get through the first two worlds. So we'll have to see. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. What we do among us? Yeah, sure. Alright guys. Hop on, hop on Among Us, guys. Alright, guys. Hop on, hop on Among Us, guys. Come on, let's go. It's, it's fucking dying. It's dying. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that fucking, that random ass lobby just got that experience. Those poor kids playing Among Us. You wish that upon yourself. It is insane how public Among Us lobbies go. People have gotten to a point where you can go into a public Among Us lobby and it will be modded. People can mod public Among Us lobbies. I don't know how. They just do. They got this. Look at the Scaredy Shroom lineup. They are actually going insane. Oh my god, look at him! Look at the screen door! Shit. 
another one? That is so funny. Dude. This is so- this is so insane. We're only on flag two, what the hell? How- can this even get hard? Drunker's off making sure his bot's successful. I Wasted 500 of my monkeys? I hey, hey, good monkey investment, trust me. Why is it 75? God. Okay. Ooh, but Burstroom is universal, okay. Okay, uh... Oh. Well, I'll... Yeah, I guess we could put on... I guess we could throw a Burstroom. Right, we do get six lanes now, I forgot that's a thing. So that means our sun production just naturally goes up. Sure. I think that looks all right. But yeah, no, it, it definitely... I'm having a lot of fun. I guess just some like overall thoughts since I haven't really given it yet. I'm having a lot of fun doing this because it's taking the plants versus zombies I know and love and just giving me like a more unique experience with it. And it's really making me think about my plant choices more. I, I really like it. It's not so cut and dry, I guess. Makes me have to think about new strategies. So I don't think Jorker's here right now, but honestly, huge props to him. Like... It is, it is such a fun experience. And Plants vs. Zombies is a game that goes way back for me personally. So it's like, it's nice. Ooh, and I'm pretty sure this track's a banger. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited now. I keep getting messed up by the fact that I have like a 5 at the end of my sun number. Or like, a, sorry, like a not multiple of 25 at the end of my sun number. And I keep trying to figure out why. Oh, here it is. So nice. So lovely. Come on. Come on. I'm, I'm in a wee bit of danger, I'd say. Actually, no shot this is the move here. No shot I stall burst room. Do I stall burst room here? Because burst room itself is a minor stall. Okay, that sunflower is lost, but that's okay. That doesn't kill! Mm. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Then... Boom. There we go. Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm in a bit of a situation here. Peach shooters, I've realized, can solo cone heads, which is actually really, really nice. Range is just crazy. Ignore him. Come on, get that. <gasps> Wait! No way! Wait, that's so cool if you did that. Joker, there's no fucking way. There is no way in hell. It freezes the water! So it damages all the- Oh, wait, that's so cool. Wait, I, I adore that. Okay, well, I don't get pool cleaners, but that's okay. That should kill both of them. Thank God, okay. Wait, that's actually insane. And this is actually really dangerous because the one most, like, messed up lane right now is the one with the most zombies. And that's not good. Sunflowers, you need to start producing, like, more sun. Okay? I'm very, very strategically minding my business right now. Okay? Okay? You can do this. I believe in you. Did that help stall? Did you kill? Nice. I like how interactive Burstroom is. Squash! Squash! I love Squash! Squash is honestly the most iconic Plants vs. Zombies plant in my personal experience. For moderate damage, quick recharge. Okay. So it's just like, better <laughs> potato? Alright, we'll see how Squash interacts though. I'm sure it'll be pretty normal. I might mess up my sunflower placement this time around. Like, change it up a bit. Because three rows of sunflowers might actually be ideal for the fucking economy that we've been in. The sunflower economy is devastated at the minute, you know? Yeah, it's, it's like, it's almost like when, like, a meta shift happens in a game. It's like, you're just, like, relearning a new meta. It's kind of cool. Okay. So it doesn't instantly kill, but it does, like, a full zombie's worth of damage. So it actually makes it a really good insta-kill for normal zombies. Unless it deals just shy of enough to kill it. Nope. We're good. I can do this, actually. Oh, okay. Squash is actually going to be a really good insta. Especially for single zombie targeting. Trying to get a specific zombie down using Squash is actually going to be super effective. Because I was kind of having the issue where I had to use Burst Shroom for a single zombie last time because I didn't have a good thing to use it. But Squash is actually a really good portable end stuff. Oh, well, okay. Well, okay. Thank okay. Phew. I thought he was going to go back. I was scared. 
He can. I guess he just did it. Because I, I just saw him almost do it. Does that freeze even if it's not put in the water? It does. Okay. Yeah, until you start using Sunshroom consistently, you do not realize the sheer power of Sunshroom and how slow base Sunflower is. The music fits it so well. That slow start followed by the, like, fast buildup is so nice. I feel like I'm playing Cookie quicker with how much I have to click my mouse to collect sun. God! I'm really excited to see 3 Peter. I've seen 3 Peter in the footage that I've been editing, and I'm really, really intrigued by its existence. And you'll, you'll see what it does when we get there. Uh oh. Check him a bit. I'm concerned about this fucker. But we'll be fine. We'll manage. We'll do another one of these. Yeah, I can remove you from there. Probably there. Nice. I, I, feel, I, I feel very engaged right now. And I very much like that. The balls of Juggernaut. I gathered. I also noticed that you've definitely given bucket heads more health. They are definitely stronger. It's not just like a one, two, three upscale. Oh, there he is, three Peter. Alrighty. Shoots incredibly fast in three lanes. I mean, I'm excited. We gotta get some three Peters, guys. We're gonna try to go for a similar approach as last time, just not using ice peas as early. As a matter of fact, regular pea shooters are gonna go all the way up here. We're gonna have to trust the process, all right? I don't know if placing down sunflowers on lily pads are worth it, but we're gonna do it anyway because I want them. <laughs> I'm in immediate danger. Things are things are not going my way right now. Uh, uh. I don't like it here. Everything's so aggressive. I think I'm gonna have to let this lawnmower go. Oh my god. Come on, die, 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 die. Die, die, please. Please, just why won't you die? Oh, it's so over. Oh, it's so over. Uh, I think I think I might be done for. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness me. I may, I may be in quite the conundrum. We'd put the pool level aside. Hit, hit all of them. Yes, okay. Okay, hang on. We're managing. Uh. 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 Sun. Sun. <laughs> Squatch! Squatch! No! Damn it. God damn, man. Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. So, maybe don't try and build 3 Peter. Maybe take Jorker's advice there. I think the goal is to just not plant any sunflowers past here in the water. Because then here, it just starts to get way too hectic. I was out driving today, right? And I think I've said this before, but for those of you who haven't heard it before, my biggest advice to anyone who's thinking about, like, starting to drive and getting their license and stuff is no matter how scared you may be of driving, and no matter how bad of a driver you may think you are or you really are, there's one threat on the road that you can never fully account for, and that is other people. God, do I hate other people on the road. Like, mm, they're so scary. They're so unpredictable. It's almost like you don't know what's going on in their head. But today I was, like, turning, and some guy took, like, a really unnecessarily wide turn, and, um, what you want to call it? Wait, hang on, I, I think I'm, like, vaguely recalling. Nope. Um, oh no, what happened is, some guy pulled out really far in front of a stop sign, so, like, I barely had enough room on the road. Um, my uncle even said he was scared he wasn't, the guy wasn't even gonna stop. Um... We put out, like, really far, so I, 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 like, squeeze between this guy who's sitting, like, horizontally on the road and the guy who's coming diagonally at me, because it was a curved road. And I had to, like, squeeze between them. I was like, eh, I'm not qualified enough to do this. But yeah, that's my, that's my silly license story for today. The fact that lily pads are more expensive in the mod makes them, like, infinitely more valuable and infinitely more situational. Like, you can't just place down lily pads willy-nilly. They provide no extra benefit. Their rework is that they cost more. So it's like, hmm. We're definitely having a lot more success right now though than we were the other time. Or too new. Okay, see, I got you, you're done. Shit, I hate snorkel zombies. These guys suck. Just, whatever, do your thing. 
I'll fix these three lanes. It's so over. It is- it is beyond over. Oh, it is done. It is- that is- that is GG. Goodbye. Damn, this level's getting me, man. This level's getting me bad. Why am I having such a hard time maintaining some? I think the culprit is lily pads. So here's what we're gonna do. I have an idea. It's a dumb, stupid idea. But it's an idea. So, starting off, we're gonna place sunflower, right? And then after that, we're gonna place, in fact, another sunflower, right? And now, I'm actually gonna start putting up walnuts here. And then I'm gonna put a sunflower right here, right? That is three sunflowers. I don't know if you can count. I don't know if you noticed me mentioning that I was placing the sunflowers because I'm doing it so fast, but we are placing sunflowers as you do in the game where sun is your energy. We're gonna place another sunflower. I'm placing sunflowers. He gets it, he gets me, right? And now another sunflower. And now this is a crazy concept never seen before. Not, not this, I'm gonna place a sunflower, but that's not it, right? I'm gonna make three lanes of sunflowers in the back. Crazy. I know. Absolutely insane. Revolutionary tactic. But that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna amp up some production at the start. Um, because I feel like I need it. Okay, we're gonna have a chomper down. This is massive. This is the first ever chomp chomper sighting in fucking pool area. I need to set up for snorkels. Because there are a very- Yup. 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 On there. Look at this. Brains, this is why 3 Peter is 750. Look at how fast this fucker shoots. Look at him go. He is insane. And now we have a full line of chompers, by the way. Sound economy is booming right now. Now it's time for the true test. Hey. No, my chomper! I need another 3 Peter. Makes me feel cooler. Makes me feel more valuable. Yeah. Look at him go. Look at him go. That's huge. That's, uh, that's such a nice little combo there. And Tangle Cub, I forgot about him! Wait, that's actually really gonna change things up too. It's the kill zombie in the water, speedy recharge. Yeah, cause he's 25 in the base game. So he has a, he has a, he'll have a decent recharge. So, I basically want all of these plants, right? I think it's gonna be really similar to what we did last time, actually. With Tangle Cub in the mix now. Full sun economy. Like, you have, you have no idea. So we're going to place the sun. <laughs> so guys, guys, hear me out. We're going to place the sunflower. Time for big... Oh my god, wait. Yeah, because this is a... Uh... I didn't even think about that. This is a checkpoint level. Shit. That's four flags. The thought didn't even cross my mind. We are in immediate danger. All right. Well, going to have to use every little shred of knowledge that I have to try and figure this shit out. I'm on strategic brain right now. I am terrified. Because I, I have no idea what's in store for me right now. And now look, crazy concept, I know. But I think for this occasion of how looming dread it is at the minute, we're going to, uh, we're going to, uh, have five rows of sunflowers starting off. All right, it's time. Three Peter number one, down. We're going to be setting up our three Peters, and we can also set up our chopper wall as well. However, this level hasn't even started yet, by the way. Because as we saw from the preview, we got Michael Jackson zombies, we got um, football zombies, and we got more. Okay. Um, there's two of them! There are two football zombies! Okay, screw anything in the bottom lane. All resources are being diverted to the top lane. Three Peter, no! No! Wait, the top lane's over with the lawnmower! Why was that necessary? Why do you have to make them both go to the lane without the llama? You did that. You specifically did that. God. Okay, we're not we're not even like halfway through there. And we're already getting intense. This dancer guy is really annoying to deal with. Honestly, so long as I can keep my lanes defended until the last wave, and I don't have to worry about any uh silly shenanigans like last time with the uh double football top lane no lawn mower we should be fine honestly okay now we got the full three peter armada which is all i can really ask for so it's it 
Ooh, okay, that's already two. Whoa, two footballs. Okay, 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 okay. I am terrified. I am so nervous. There's so many football zombies. I didn't even notice this many last time. Okay. Think we do it this time? Some surprise thing? Honestly, this is the lane I'm most worried about because it doesn't have a functioning lawnmower. Get another three feet from the dam, you know. Oh my god, never mind. It's two at the top again. It's two at the top again. Holy mother of god. Granted, that potato mine's not gonna live long enough to see the light of day. Oh no. Oh no, my god. Come on. Okay, one down, one down, one down. This is doable. Yes, yes. Yes! And then kill him? Massive! And shop unlocked, baby. Holy mother of god. That's terrifying. So it's just it's just two football in top lane, which is insane because what you wanna call it? You can only have two three Peters on that at once. Oh the humanity. You know what that means? Yeah, Twinkie Dinkies, baby! <laughs> Rake baby! Rake baby! And pool cleaners. Grab both of them. Alright, we'll take our rakes for now. Funny thing about the zombie process, sometimes it makes it come out real little- Alright, yep, that is it. Conveyor belt level though, so we'll see how that one- Whole oh, gargantors. Gargant- Those aren't in the base game! Jork, you rapscallion! I don't think those are in the- Holy shit. How does it go? How much damage does it do? Oh, it does a lot of damage, okay. Zombie nimble, zombie quick is like such a such an experience. It gives me such nostalgia, and I don't really know why. It was like one of the like standout ones for me. Uh oh, Zambonis already? I wonder if they've been reworked. Probably not. They're already pretty interesting as they are. Okay. Whew, money. Kill him. Thank you. There's two in one lane. Nice. The money I had before to be good. I want to be really good. Oh god. Hey, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, unnecessary, unnecessary. You can stop, you should stop it right now. You should stop it now. You should stop it right now. No, stop it, stop it, stop it. You, you should stop it now. Get it, guys. You guys got this, you guys got this, you guys got this. Okay, hang on, they're, they're at pace. No, 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 no. No, go away! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Uh, I need something. I don't know what, but I need something. So many- Ah, uh, yeah! Okay, okay, they get close enough for fun. We're chilling. <laughs> it's so scary! I don't want to lose any more lawnmowers. They'll make me feel cool. We got this. We got this. There's something about that Zamboni revving that just instilled fear and dread into my heart. Okay, hit that. Perfect. Kill all the basic zombies. That guard. Oh, that guard doesn't even have someone in its lane. Oh, God. Oh, that's a brutal lane as well. Go. Get him. Get him. Get him. No. No. No, I placed him too far forward. This might, this might be devastating. This might have devastating impacts on the local ecosystem. Seeing guard chucking normal imps later on would be hilarious. Yeah, it's it's insane. I've only seen glimpses of it when I was making the trailer, but God, am I excited. I saw some of the roof levels. Drunker gave me some roof level footage, and it was crazy. Detonates and deals massive damage to all zombies on its lane. Decently fast recharge. Special signals, there will be a huge amount of basic zombies. Zamboni leads a swarm of zombies into battle. It'll probably be cooler if he actually made it to the front lines actually on time, but nobody's perfect. So he's a normal Zamboni, but spawns a horde of normal. That's brutal. Okay. I, I don't know how to feel about it. Okay, so we're gonna go with the same strategy we've been doing, and we'll see how it goes. I swear to God, something keeps hitting my door. I think I'm going schizo. It's a lot of brown pills. Did you take your pills today? Uh... No, I didn't. Hang on. Hang 
on, hang on, hang on. I, I didn't take my pills. This is important. I need to do this. If I, if I, if I don't take my pills, I need to. That can't be open. That can't. That can't be open. If I don't take my pills, that door cannot be open. Do you understand me? Oh, I can't believe that. Chat, that I left them. I left them at the. I left them at. The, I left them at the pill store. Chat. Chat. My pills are all at the pill store. The door open. No, you're, you're lying. You're lying. Holy shit! Oh, oh, my son. Nightmare Foxy's in there. Ah, ah, hair in my eye, hair in, ow, hair, hair in my eye, Chad. God, can't, can't go schizo in peace around here. Jesus, God. God forbid my schizophrenia acts up for one day without a major inconvenience occurring. Why can't the door be open then? Because then they'll come for me. I can't do, I can't do that. I can't, I can't do that. I can't. I can't. Do I have to? <laughs> the kitty will protect me. The kitty will protect me. The kitty will protect me. <laughs> the kitty's the kitty's got this. The, the, the kitty will protect me. No 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 no. The kitty's protecting me. The kitty the kitty attacked the creature. You didn't see the creature. The creature was there. The kitty's no no. Fuck yeah for irrational fears of stuff behind you. Fuck yeah for schizo culture. I had a friend tell me the other day, note that it is, it was like 4 a.m. And I was on the phone with my friend at work. So I'm sitting here stocking shelves at my convenience store job on the phone with my friend. And he just says to me, Matt, can I tell you something really weird? And I said, yeah, sure, lay it on me. And he says, sometimes when I go to bed at night, I hear voices. And I go, what? <laughs> oh, that's not voting, not die. Uh, I think jalapeno does less damage. But yeah, so my friend just says, I hear voices. And apparently there's like a medical condition for it or something. And he just hears voices while he's going to bed. And he can't do anything about it. I attack the tile in front of me, Spike. We'd ask simple. I'm actually underground and you see it's just a cardboard cutout. His neck is split up. No, it's not. Hang on. Okay, I'll show you guys that the cat's real. Hang on, hang on. He's fine. Cat's, cat's fine. He's, he's okay. Neck is not split open. He's, he's okay. Sorry. Sorry, I was... We had to have a conversation. We had to have a conversation. <laughs> Do not tell me the demons were behind me. You could not say these things. So do we- okay, I'm- I'm gonna ban 3 Peter for this level, because rightfully so, farming insane amounts of sun to get 3 Peter is unsurprisingly pretty powerful. So let's- let's try and mix our strategy up, shall we? Okay, okay. You're gonna have to follow along with me on my strategy. So, the first thing we do- <laughs> guys, the first thing we do is plant a sun- kill him. Ooh, squash is an instant kill on newspapers. That's good to know. I had this reoccurring dream. Why is he in the water? Why is the newspaper in the water? He's gonna get the paper wet. What's wrong with him? Yeah, I'm very curious to see how uh, Tom that plays out. Because he was very tanky and zombie nimble, zombie quick. But I don't know if that was just coincidence or not. I love him walking. It's so funny. Why? Why does he feel the need to trample through the pool? We're getting our defenses decently up. Which is all I can really ask for. I'm glad I didn't go all three Peter though, because I definitely would have like won this. Personally, I would never. Hey, 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 hey. 
Nah, uh Nah, nah, uh uh. I'm in grave danger. These things are not looking good. Okay, I need a pea shooter here. First, I also need that. Pea shooter, please take care of that. God damn. We just need to survive to this final wave, and then we're good. Okay, I need to grab that. Here, jalapeno. Okay, we're semi managing. Semi keyword. More like barely, but you know, semi's a nice substitute. Oh, the current state of affairs is more than dire. They are catastrophic. Especially if either of these lawnmowers trigger before the end. However, it's cooler when I do it without losing anything. <laughs> okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do that. Do that. Do that. Wait for that sunflower to go, and then bam. Come on, give me a jalapeno. Give me a jalapeno. Give me a jalapeno. Come on, give me enough sun. Give me enough sun. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fuck. 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 No! What a respectful cool too. That's devastating. Also, we do get more money if we have all of our lawnmowers alive. The damage against them slash properties. Snow peas that pass through got upgraded into winter melons doing massive damage. You want damage on the pool fast? Dolphins? Yeah, that is true. Yeah, and I can't even use the PVZ strat that I'm used to where I just place like two lily pads at the very front because it's not as easy with them. Well, hang on, I need to I need to make some kind of sacrifice here then. I, I have no like early game damage. Yeah, but it's funnier that way. <laughs> okay, now this is super ballsy what I'm doing here because I have no early game defense. I am relying solely on walnuts and squashes and tangle kelps. That is all I have to my name. We can get some snow peas to stall and that's it. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> what? Wait, okay. Snow peas cracked, hang on. This is insane. Okay, and now this guy just gets stuck at this walnut for <laughs> okay, so dolphins are an issue, but we have Tangle Kelp, which is on a really fast recharge rate, and we're kind of chilling. Yep, I hear it. Nope. Two, two. That's more than one. Whoa. <laughs> run it, run it back. Run it, run it back, shall we? I, I, I just got dodo walled by dolphins. Hello? Um. Okay, okay, but they're weak as fuck. Okay, okay, okay. So we, we can deal with them. They're deal withable. Actually, hang on, it gets really scary. You better shoot, you better shoot. <sighs> okay, okay. It's actually really scary with the slow fire rate of the snow peen. Okay. Shoot, 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 shoot. <gasps> That's terrifying! I need a three peter stat instantly. So remember when I said Tangle Cubs are gonna be really good against them? I lied. Uh, it's. It's potentially over. Hang on. Oh, that was terrifying. Bye bye. Oh. 425 for a fucking donut. Let's try this, okay? So here's what I'm thinking, right? So, first things first, we plant a sunflower, right? So, what I'm thinking is multiple snow peas <laughs> for multiple winter melons, right? Now, obviously that makes sense. And then we have a defensive front, and I would have substituted out chompers, but with the insanity that this level seems like it might bring, I have some repeaters for some nice early game damage. Our only insta is the jalapeno, which we're gonna have to be careful about, but that's okay. Okay, let's, let's reevaluate. Repeater's ass, right? But we need a better early game damager. All right, maybe we'll have to go back to having five rows of sunflowers. Squatches are honestly kind of the move because they kill the normal zombies instantly. We can technically speaking get a three-peater, but I'm not gonna do it just yet. 
I think I'm going to do it. Tawnot's going to be my little best friend up there. And I'm going to need them down more as well. I don't know if I go for more three Peters or more tall nuts at the moment. And then I, if I get one more in the pool, we're looking really good. If I can get one more in the pool and the tall nuts in these two bottom lanes, that's actually super good. We should be fine for the rest of the level. Like, oh, look at that shit. It's a lot of fucking brown cards, man. Expect me to do much for me here. Yeah, maybe he's gonna be fucking insane. I just played the Torchwood question mark. Got this, got this, got this. Boom. Nice. Okay. Dude. Dude, that tall nut. That tall nut is taking the beating of a lifetime. And he does not care. Holy mother of God. Hi. Jesus Christ, that tall nut. Oh, man. Give me a three, Peter. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. Ooh, music time as well. It's a four flag. It's going to be a long one. Having three Peters in all lanes already is great. Conveyor belt levels are even more fun right now because the levels are inherently just so fucking expensive with their sun. So you just see a plant that's like normally 700 sun and you're just like... Why was there a fourth lane shooting? The so whole player's idea of medium difficulty. Dodging every single one of those. Kinda watch this shit, right? Damn, crazy final wave, anyway. I was saving them all up. How'd you live? 100 for a sea shoot. I wonder how you made that one work. We can get our sun troops back. Can only land in the water. Shoots quickly. What you got, Dave? They used to call you the what? The what? What did they used to call him? What? What? <laughs> what? The sus guy? Because I would hang out in the fog and jump at people. Ah, those were the days. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. Holy. Yeah. Sorry. I, I, I had no better way to transition to the end of this. Anyway, um, I know, crazy, new, new room every single time I record a video, I'm just in a new room by the end of it, um, anyway, so that was Plants vs. Zombies Reseeded, mod made by Drunker, amazing guy, um, first three worlds, I had a lot of fun playing it, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, that was my first time doing some kind of, like, stream highlights that I've edited down, so hopefully it was good enough, and yeah, I mean, if you... If you enjoyed, like, like, su subscribe, oh my god, comment down below, that, that would be great, man. Um, but other than that, yeah, um, if you liked stream highlights, want to see more, please let me know. Um, if you want to see the rest of Reseated, I already have the rest of it streamed. If this video does well, maybe I'll edit down the rest of it. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Su subscribe, bye, bye, oh my god, bye.